In this video, watch this person using every victim card in the book. I feel bad for this officer. Lord help us. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. And okay. I just got changed around. Like okay. Do you understand what's going on though? Yes. You're going into oncoming yes. traffic. I know. And I just decided that it was better just to turn around really quick. So, okay. But I'm sorry. Do you live here or are you just trying to... I just moved here. No, but do you live here in like this apartment complex? Oh, no. Okay. I didn't, but... So um, you were just like, hey, I'm going to exactly. I'm gonna turn around by coming in here. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is your car? Yes. I will get your insurance well, too. Well, not my car, but it's my mom's. Because my car got kind of up. I'm so sorry. What happened to your car? It's with my dad, like... It, no, but you said it got messed up? Yeah, like, it has a bad oil change and stuff, so. Okay. Is it insured? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Can I just have you step out? We'll go look it up on my computer, and I'll get you out of here. Okay. Well, can I just look for the insurance real quick? Because that's what you asked for first. Sure. Okay. Sorry, I just have, like, really bad social anxiety and stuff. I get you. So, just a heads up, I don't want to be out here any longer than you do. We walk back to my car, I look it up on my computer, and I get you out of here. Okay. Okay? Go ahead and step out for Wait, me. what are you looking for? Your insurance, registration, I'm going to check your driver's license status, I'm going to do all that. Just go ahead and step out for me, ma'am. Okay, but... Do you have any weapons on you or anything I need to know about? No, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay, well we're past that. Just go ahead and step out. I'll walk you back to my patrol car and then I'll talk to you back there. Okay. Sorry, just like as an indigenous person. And... Right back here, please. Miss Perry? Am I... Well, I'm non-binary, so... Okay. What do you go by? It's Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai. Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like, probably three drinks. Three drinks? Okay. Judging by driving wrong way on that street? I know. That's the other thing that well, I Well, hang on. About. Don't cut me off. Judging by how you're driving, the smell, I need to run you through some tests right now. Okay? That's why I have you out of the car. Once well, that's I the thing that I asked about before. I said, okay, so you're just giving me for my registration. And mm -hmm. you said yes. Yep. And now you're running me for other stuff. Yeah. I'm going to run you through some tests to. to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to turn off these blinking lights, that way they're not affecting your eyes as I go through your, mm -hmm. your test tonight. <coughs> you said you had three drinks? Mm -hmm. What kind of drinks would those be? Rum and a cider. Okay. Are we talking like a mixed drink? Are we talking a shot? What are we talking about? Well, rum is going to be a mixed drink. Cider is just a cider. Okay. Perfect. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and, and me both. Okay. Okay. Stand with your feet together, toes touching, arms by your side, just like I am. Hands outside of your pockets, please. I'm going to have you take those glasses off. You can fold them up, put them in one of your pockets. Perfect. I'm going to be going back and forth with my finger. I don't want you to move your head throughout this test. I just want you to focus on the tip of my finger, only moving your eyes. You obviously have glasses, so there's no contacts in your eyes right now, correct? Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries, anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> Any recent head trauma, though? You haven't hit your head in like the last month or so? You have? Okay. What did the doc say? That I had a little concussion. Okay, so concussions heal. Any long-lasting effects? Sure. I don't know. I'm asking you. I know. Is there anything that would prevent you from driving that no. car? Okay. Stand with your arms by your side, please. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger, okay? Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just, like, trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. I need you to take your glasses off, okay? Focus on my finger. 
Oh, my finger, please. I am, but you're... This is just how the test goes. I know, but you're exaggerating it more than it needs to be right now. This is just the test, okay? No. When you stop and look at me, I have to redo a certain portion of the test. Okay. So just focus on my finger. Well, as you know, as an indigenous person, and there's a bunch of going around, I'm sorry, but it's just for me to be on my toes. I get you. Will you go back to that position I had you in? Standing with your feet together, arms by your side. Stand on my light, if you would please face your vehicle. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Yeah, I'll try my hardest. Okay, it's not something that I deal with every day, so I'll, I'll have the, uh, the mistake okay. of the habit, right? Please. So I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I want you to to imagine about a four inch wide line. Okay, that four inch wide line is just going to go from your right foot completely straight to the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Can you picture that four inch wide line? Can you picture it? Just a straight four inch wide line. Yes. Perfect. Hang on. Do you want me? Like, I'm gonna go over some instructions before you do anything, okay? I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. Mental health. Um, any physical injuries? Mental, yeah. <laughs> but no. Nothing that would prevent you from just walking and turning. I saw you exit the vehicle, you walked over here just fine, no complaints of injuries. No, I'm just saying. Okay. Mental, PTSD, I get you. What else you want? Well, unfortunately, I'm just asking about I know. physical. I know. Okay? I know you are. So, I want you to go ahead and put your left foot on that four inch wide line just like I'm doing. Now, with your right foot, place it in front of your left in a heel to toe touching manner with your arms by your side, just like this, ma'am. Can you not call me ma'am, please? I'm trying my hardest. Okay, well. Okay. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a man, so. Okay. It's kind of triggering. Right foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm gonna place you in a position. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching, just like I'm doing. Right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe touching, just like I am. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing just like. I apologize. Let's see if we can move okay. forward from it. Arms by your side, heel to toe touching, just like I am. Hold on. I need you to get to this position, just like I am. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching, arms by your side. Arms by your side. This is the starting position for no, the test. that's what I'm doing! Bert, you are in it. This is the starting position for the test. I don't want you to move or start the test until I tell you to do so. Can you go back to that position for me? Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching. Perfect. When I instruct you to do so, you're gonna do nine heel to toe steps. It'll look like this. One, two, Three, but on your ninth step, you'll plant your lead foot with the foot behind it. You'll do a series of small turns, keeping this lead foot planted. You'll continue down the line. Nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three. When I instruct you to start, you'll focus on each step, counting each step out loud. You'll keep your arms by your side and you won't stop the test at any point until you're completely finished. Do you understand what I want you to do? Do you have any questions? Okay, you have zero questions? No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops. Like, it's just, it's just like a whole little thing. Hang on, ma'am. I'm asking if you have any questions before I instruct you to start. Round. All right, I'm gonna bring you back to the first first position I had you in, right in front of me, facing me. Facing me. This next test, I'm gonna ask you to lift the leg of your choice off the ground. It's gonna be about six inches off the ground, it's gonna be parallel with the ground. You'll keep your arms by your side. You're gonna focus on the tip of your toe, counting in 1,000s. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Your foot and leg will be straight the entire time. Parallel with the ground, leg completely straight. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? 1,001, 1,002. Hold on. 
Go back to the starting three, position. Four. Go back to the starting five, position. Six. You didn't listen to what I said, did you? You didn't listen to what I said, man. I know. I said when I instruct. Moving to you. Well, I said when I instruct you I to know, start. I know, and right now I just feel harassed. So. Okay. I said when I instruct you okay. to start. Can you just count now? You're gonna continue to I am count being harassed. until I tell you to stop. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and be good. Pick up where you left off, ma'am. I didn't instruct you to stop yet. You said until 1006. 1010. It's not what I said. Okay. Alright, you go ahead and stop. I'm going to speak with you right over here, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Don't, dude. Don't make don't, it hard. Please. Don't make it hard. No, don't. you're... You're going to get a resistance. Dude, I... You're going to get a resistance. I track. don't. Don't resist. Don't. Listen to me. Don't resist. Don't. You're being Come a here. white man and Come don't. Here. I followed all of your like. Don't resist. No, you yeah, followed all of your Don't resist. Hey, give us your other hand. So you're going to be placed under arrest for driving under the influence tonight, ma'am. What do you have in your mouth? Nothing! Ew! What do you have in your mouth? Nothing! You guys are just scaring me! Lift your tongue? Lift your tongue for me? You guys are scaring me! There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, walk around my my vehicle. <laughs> Have a seat. No. Have a seat. I mean, I will, but like, <laughs> can I just see you guys are being talked about? Somebody who suffers from generational trauma, PTSD, and depression, and suicidal tendencies. <laughs> yeah, can you go around? Do you want me to put it in for you so that you don't feel so guilty? I have this guy for that. Douchebag. Five forty-five, sir. Go. Pleasure. Oh, that forty-one, ten fifteen, ten forty-seven. Mouth free and clear. On my watch, zero two five four hours. I'm gonna read something to you real quick. Listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating alcohol and or drugs. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test Wait, will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. I see you're shaking too because your anxiety is bad, just as mine. Do you want me to repeat that paragraph for yes. you? Yes. That's what I just So, if you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to perform. To perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is the New Mexico State Police. Do you agree to take our test? I don't know. It's a yes or no? Well, I don't know right now. So I'll continue on. 
I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? Your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. Try and people with mental health problems or, you know. Do you now agree to be tested? I'm just asking if it also implies that people... It applies to anyone and everyone that's arrested for driving under the influence. Mm -hmm. So do you now agree to be tested? It's a yes or no, ma'am. I'm asking for two breath samples. No. Can you five read back to us? The what? You said read back the last two paragraphs because I am severely depressed. So. So I'm requesting you submit to a breath test. If you choose, you can request an additional chemical test. That will be paid for by us, the law enforcement agency. I'll give you a reasonable opportunity to arrange for that to happen tonight. Um, if you refuse, <coughs> like I said, I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Mm. Okay, so if I get a lawyer that does that also... So your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. There you go. So do you agree to take our test? No, I want a lawyer. Okay. Okay. 545 Cinco. Cinco. What was that? So can I just please call my mom? Yeah, I can do that for you. I have your phone. Do you have a wallet that you want to go with you tonight? Well, I mean, you took it out of my pocket, so... I took your phone out of your pocket. Your okay, well, where the f*** was that other mother Why are filling me up? I would like my wallet, please. Okay. Okay, you'll let me know what you think about this in the comment section. My question is, who is raising these people? Yep, Democrat. And this is today's generation, right there. What type of future do you think we have with this type of attitude? Exactly. Lord help us. God bless you. Catch you on the next one.